struggling to win unlimited games in NBA 2K24, my team, don't worry, man. I got you guys covered. I'm going to give you guys a like the best settings, the best lineups, the best things to do to win every unlimited game you play and become a better player in general, man. So if you guys clicked on this video, you guys are in the right spot. So if any information I give you in this video does end up helping you out, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to this channel because I post a lot of NBA 2K24 content to make you a better player and everything like that. So make sure you sub and um just stay tuned to my channel, man. But yeah, as you guys can see, my record is 70 and 25, which is pretty solid um in my opinion. Um it's one of the better records. Um you know, a lot of people have I have a 73.3 win percentage, so definitely not bad. And basically, I'm going to be showing you guys what I do and everything like that. So obviously, this is my team. This is my squad. Um, I have definitely a better squad, but my squad is still not the best. But honestly, I'm not even going to run this squad. For this video, I'm going to just be using this squad right here, which is completely a budget squad that anyone else can get. This squad is about in total 100K. And I just threw in these two pink diamonds because they're both free and anyone can get them in like less than two hours or probably not two hours but probably about five hours for each of them which isn't too bad because they are a wall i literally have them in my normal squad um at backup power forward and starting power forward so this is basically the team i'm running mitchell robinson um obviously um use your best cards you know what i'm saying use your best cards but i'm basically just going to be going over everything you need to know First things first, man, obviously, if some things don't apply to you, like if you already know what I'm talking about, just skip past this. But for me, I use set point um, shot timing, visual cue, and then I use shot meter off. If you guys are like new to the game, make sure you turn off vibration, make sure you turn off shot meter and get used to not using a shot meter. Um, and I, I like to use uh, shot set point and I know some people like to use push. So either set point or push are the ones you want to use. I would not use release or jump. If you wanted to choose them, either choose set point or push. In my opinion, I like set point but if you guys don't like that um just use push it's basically whenever the ball gets to the top of your head you just release it right away that's that's why i like set point because it's easy to just kind of get down everyone's release but yeah man building the right squad um obviously um there's a lot of factors that actually go into it it's not just running the best cards you have because like i like this step card i could just run this step card right here but he wouldn't fit into my squad so basically what you want is you want one score or two score you just want someone that you can primarily run your offense through which i have kobe and if i show you guys the budget squad that i'm going to be using in the game i'm using peyton watson to create my entire offense and then um you also want a um you know a guy that is a lockdown defender so for me i have anthony black in here and for this team i have draymond green he's going to be basically my lock and obviously kobe can defend really good too but that's besides the point i have D draymond as my main like lock and kobe as my main score it doesn't always have to be the shooting guard is your main score and the point guard is your main score you can run like if i wanted to create my offense with this tyrese and then if i wanted to just have a lockdown defender at the two like let me find a good example like this doug christie this doug christie is not going to do anything on offense and then this tyrese is going to do most of my offense and not much on defense so it's just stuff like that so for me i'm running the combo of anthony black and peyton watson which is a very solid combo at the three you just want someone who can mainly just play lockdown defense green shots and maybe get you an occasional bucket for this squad i got taylor hendricks and for my main squad i got michael beasley michael beasley obviously best release in the game he can play great defense um taylor hendricks obviously really solid release he can attack the basket he can do a lot of stuff as well and then at the four and the five you just want someone also who can knock down shots and you know play great defense once again um for me i got chris stops and obviously height matters so Chris stops, you know, Wemby, guys like that are going to be really OP. But for me, I, I except for Yao, don't run Yao. But um, yeah, I got Mitchell Robinson right here, seven footer, and then Tyson Chandler, seven footer. They both have really solid releases. Both can green shots. Same thing right here. Both really solid. And then off the bench, you just want to do the same thing. So for me, I got Jalen Suggs right here, uh, Julian Stroffer, Franz, Chet, and Aiton. Aiton, Chet can create, or not create, but um green open shots play great defense same thing with these guys right here and then off obviously on my normal squad i got ak as my lock these two guys can knock down shots and play defense you guys get the point for building the squad and then for your coach i have bill russell he's not the best coach in the game but um you know coaches honestly aren't that good in this game but the best coach to run would probably be um this rick carlisle just because he boosts a three ball but i just like to run um bill russell because his effect is at the start of the game and um 
yeah, basically how you get them is getting unlimited rings, but um, yeah, I have seven, I have 15 out of 17 unlimited rings, I do believe, so. Also, defensive settings, man, I don't play with them too much, but if you want to know how to save them every time, you just basically go into coach game plan right here. And for me, I run on ball pressure smother and off ball pressure tight. And then um, I also run, I don't have it saved right now, but I have no help on all of these um, right there. Or, well, I already had it. I, I'm tripping. I don't know why I just did that, but I have no help, no help, no help on my, on those, those driving rules. And basically, I'm going to change them a lot in the game, though. And I'm also going to be talking about the best offense to run and how to run it and how to get success out of it. So make sure you stay tuned for the full length of this video. But yeah, man, 70 and 25. Let's just go ahead and hop into a game right here with this budget squad. And I'm going to go walk through you guys. I'm going to go walk through you guys. And I'm going to walk you guys through everything. All right, guys. So we are in a game right here. And our opponent has Pink Diamond Job, Pink Diamond T-Mac, uh, KD, AD, and Miles Turner. So this guy's got himself a really good team. So basically, this is what I'm talking about with this setting. So Ja right here, um, his release isn't that good. And it's kind of slow. So basically, I'm going to do on-ball pressure on tight and off-ball pressure on moderate. Next, I got T-Mac. Um, his release is good. And he's a sniper. So I'm just going to keep the smother and tight on him. KD has a slower release, so I'm going to go on ball pressure tight and off ball pressure moderate. AD, same thing, moderate and tight. And then same thing on this Miles Turner. Um, basically, what this does is it'll make the CPU close out really good. And so I'm going to go over that in the game as well. Scotty Barnes, I'll leave it. Or I'll, just, I'll just go moderate, moderate. Or no, I'll go moderate tight. And then I saw Thompson. Um, I'm going to go moderate. I'll go moderate and then tight. Amen. I'll leave that there. Larry Bird, moderate, moderate. He literally has the slowest release, so I'm just going to go moderate, moderate. Same thing on Luka. Paul George, I'll leave that there. Embiid, go moderate, tight. So you guys get it. Just kind of slower releases. You want to go moderate, tight, so the CPU um, closes out um, as best as they can. And I forgot to change my coach, which is a bit unfortunate. But for the offense, um, I'm going to go to freelance right here, and I'm going to scroll all the way down and run the comp offense. This is the best offense in the game. And then adaptive coaching engine off. Make sure all these are on manual. And scroll down all the way down to teammate cuts to the basket and turn that on manual, and you guys should be good to go. Now, this guy is 78 and 34, so this is not going to be an easy game by any means. Um, honestly, this will be pretty hard because this guy is a way better team than me. But it's okay. He's not even playing right here off the bat. So I'm just going to take my easy three-pointer with Mitchell Robinson, Green Bean. But guys, on defense, basically, I'm just going to kind of sit on my on the off ball right here. And I'm just going to let CPU do most of the work. And in the post, if someone's trying to back you down, obviously, Anthony Black just got shredded right there. But most of the time, you want to just leave that on um, off ball. So basically, I'm just going to go into my freelance right here. Comp, it's completely five out. And I'm just going to take John Morant inside right here. That's too little, man. Just take advantage of your mismatches right there. You saw the good spacing that um, that offense created for me. But yeah, man, like I said, on defense, I'm just going to sit here on my center. And of course, Tyson Chandler, that's a bad animation. That doesn't happen too much. But um, yeah, I'm just going to go into my offense. I'm just going to keep blowing by jaw right here. And step back. All right, let's chill. Let's, let's create some offense. Let's set a screen for Peyton Watson come off that like I said he's my main scorer I accidentally faded right there but that was a good shot um you guys kind of see what I'm doing obviously I'm just gonna try to create mostly with my boy Peyton Watson Anthony Davis is kind of dogging right now but it's okay just get the ball to Peyton Watson and just come off this screen right there we got open and I passed to the wrong icon I'm not used to using these cards so that's part of it but there's a turnover I'm just not used to it right now but yeah guys so once again defensively I'm just gonna sit over here with Tyson Chandler I'm just going to kind of let my CPU do its thing on defense. Obviously, this is kind of a scummy way to play, but still, it gets the job done. He's trying to back down um, Mitchell Robinson. That is not going to work. If you just leave it on off ball like I did right there, they're going to get a stop. And once again, I'm just going to keep going off these screens, and I'm just going to feed it to Tyson. Okay, let's set, let's set it up again, run another screen, and I get a bump steal. Now, Peyton Watson's out of stamina, just setting screens, coming off of it, and there's a green bean. Oh, I missed it. But Tyson Chandler got the rebound. That's why he's an absolute beast, man. Tyson is just a monster. But yeah, like I said, don't feel too um uh, like upset with yourself about playing off ball. A lot of people do it as this guy is just going to start drop stepping me, which is a little bit sad. But um yeah, we're just going to get up to Anthony Black, set a screen, roll off of that, another screen. We literally just spam screens in this game is the only way to score. So 
that's the best way you're actually gonna run anything right there you guys see me just coming off the screen right there um, if they help if they go under the screen it's an easy three if they go over then it's um, a drive to the rim so there's a lot of things you can get out of the screens and if you have that manual cut setting on that is gonna be really important and it's gonna make sure your players don't drive to the cup or not drive to the cup um, cut to the basket but of course like what is that animation I've never seen that before in my life but it's all good let's just keep playing how we're playing man like right there that's why you run a small forward that can just knock down shots and has a good release they can contribute to offense just as well and obviously he's playing pretty good defense on KD he's trying his best obviously it's KD and he's gonna make do stuff like that but for the most part he is doing really solid but yeah if you just stay inside this offense and if, if the screens are getting okay well he's gonna get a lucky steal if this the screens aren't working as much I'm gonna show you guys a work around that as well Dude, come on, bro. This game is so washed. Rebound, you fought. Dude, you suck, Tyson Chandler, bro. At the end of the first, man, obviously, I have a lot of budget cards, so it's not really that fair. But I'm still um, in this game, and I'm not really locked in. So if I kind of locked in, I could definitely win myself this game. But yeah, we're just going to throw in our subs, and we're just going to keep continuing to do our thing, man. Good block by Franz right there. That's what I like to see, man. Get it up to Chet. That's going to be another grand vein. Good stuff right there, boys. Like, how's it? Like, like obviously, stuff like that's going to happen, man. And you guys just got to try to keep your cool. I know it's hard. Like, the CPU just randomly fouled him, and it just gave him, like, basically another possession. But, like, stuff like that's going to happen, and you got to try to keep your composure. That's one of the biggest keys I will give you through this video, man. Like, Get just keeping your composure throughout the game is gonna be huge. Like as you guys can see, I didn't let it affect me that much, and I went down and hit a three. Obviously, you can't like. Obviously, you have emotions and stuff's gonna get you annoyed. But like, if I just stay calm and I don't let him go on a run, then that's gonna be the biggest key. All right, guys. So once again, we're down by ten at halftime. We broke even there in the second quarter. I'm still not playing that great. I could definitely be playing better. So I'm going to put back in my starters and I'm going to try to lock in here, guys. And I'm going to keep going over the things that I'm doing wrong and the things that I'm doing right. But um, yeah, man, let's keep going. See, guys, there's nothing I can really do about that. He's just going to keep mashing him. And honestly, like that's just pretty annoying just because Mitchell Robinson is a ruby card. I literally don't get how Miles Turner is mashing Mitchell Robinson right now. But there's literally nothing I can do to stop it. So that's just something I'm just going to have to live with, man. All right, so you guys see I'm down by nine right here. I'm competing with this guy. I'm staying in the game, but nothing is really going my way. Um, I score, and then he gets a crazy bucket. So um, I just have to keep – I have to change the pace of this game right now because I can't just keep doing what I'm doing because, like, I'm just going to – like, I'm literally just going to lose, and then it's that simple. So I have to try to change the pace of the game. So I'm going to start pressing this guy just so I can kind of get this guy different looks. Because right now, he's just going insane with KD, and I got to try to stop that. So right there, like I'm talking about, I, I gave him a different look. He's tried to force it with KD, and it wasn't there. And then right off the bat, I'm going to miss a dunk. Like, this is what I'm talking about, bro. Stuff like that, you can't get mad, even though I'm really getting mad. But it's just like, I got to try to stay composed as he's going to green a deep three. I, I mean, it's just, it is what it is, man. I'm trying to stay composed. I'm trying to do everything I can. Obviously, this guy just has a better team than me. And it's really that simple right now. But we're going to get open green at three and try to get back in this game. Great defense by me right there. Y'all saw that? Basically, I was a one-on-two situation. And I kind of helped over towards Miles Turner or towards KD and left Miles Turner open. And then I recovered right as he threw the pass. So that was kind of a good prediction. So try to make predictions like that. But yeah, down by seven at the end of the third quarter. Um... We're definitely in this game, and we're definitely making things happen. We just got to keep hooping. That's also another thing that's good. If you guys are running, and like they have a guy chasing you, and they're pretty close to you, um, if you just literally stop, they will just jump and go flying because they're trying to get that block. So right here, like if I if he would have stopped right there, my guy would have jumped, and I would have went flying, and it would have been an easy bucket. But yeah, that's just another tip. My man Jalen Suggs right now is, I love the car, but he's not playing any defense whatsoever. So I don't know if I'm going to have to sub him out or what, because he is just getting scored on every single play. So I'm actually going to change the matchup. I'm going to put um, Franz onto his point guard, Amen Thompson. 
and or Asar Thompson, and hopefully we can get some stops, man. But like right now, we are basically just trading buckets, which is not what you want. You want to try to go on a run, so that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to get Franz on him, and hopefully we can get some more stops. Come on, man. Stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with a man. Bro, like, guard him, man. That's what I'm talking about. We're just not getting any stops. Like, Jalen sucks. Like, I love you, but you're just not getting... You have 15 points. You're you're doing good, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we got to chill. We got to chill. Hey! Come on! Come on, man! Uh-oh. Don't be clear path. Don't be clear path. Great defense by Aiden right there. That's what I'm talking about. If you just have a strong center... They literally won't be able to do anything to you. Julian Stroffer, though, right there, midi fade. That's what I like to see. Julian Stroffer is absolutely hooping for us right now. I decided to put him on an A, man. As he gets a stop, that's what I like to see. That's what we needed all along. Just someone to actually guard Asar Thompson. That's what we needed right here, man. Right there, I showed it again. I basically let him go. And then I jumped. Why are you still guarding? Oh, wait, that's a, that's the other guy, bro. He's just going to keep abusing Jalen Suggs. I honestly might have to sub him out. Of course, man. This guy is literally just abusing my no defense, man. If you guys, like, I just, this game is just so unfortunate that, that you can just abuse someone like that. So I had to sub him out. Hopefully this guy doesn't get any more buckets now just running to the rim with his freaking Asar Thompson, man. It's all good, though. Right there, guys, I needed a bucket, and I had to back cut. Literally 15 seconds left. We just got to get one stop right now, man. That's great defense, but the game just doesn't reward us, man. Come on, we're just going to go for a bucket. Okay, timeout. Of course, bro. If I wouldn't have called for that screen, man. <sighs> Anthony Black. Hey! Come on, Anthony Black to the cup. Let's go, man. That's an easy bucket right there. I just threw it down there and took advantage of the mismatch. He's got 0.9 seconds to make a shot, man. Let's see how this goes. Great defense right there. This game is headed to overtime. This is actually a really good game right now. We are competing with these budget guys, man. And let's keep hooping. Jump ball right here as we lose it. Um, That's all good. We just got to keep playing our game, man. He is just going to keep running to the rim like he has been. But we get a block right there. Perfect read by me. I kind of went up right there, and then I took advantage of that, and he wasn't going any with anything with AD right there. So I went ahead and threw that and got an easy bucket. Let's just keep doing our thing, man. Yo! Yo, I'm stuck! This game is so sad, bro. I'm stuck right there. Bro, I can't believe how bad this game is sometimes, man. Oh, oh, this game. All right, guys, this could be an absolutely crazy bad idea, but I'm going to go into a 2-3 just because he's literally running to the rim every single play. Let's see if we can catch him off guard right here. Got to play good defense. Nope, of course. That was such a bad idea, bro. My players just help into the key for no freaking reason, bro. This game is so sad that you can just run to the rim. Let's go in a man and hope for a stop right here. No, nope, not a stop. It's another three ball. This game is sad. Come on, give me three. Give me that three. Come on. We still here. Oh, this game. No, this game is so... You shot that? All right, we have a chance. We have a chance right now. We literally have a chance, bro. Throw it. Why are you not playing? Why are you not playing? <gasps> what? Yo, Big Tyson. Come on, get a stop. We need to stop. Come on. Bro, this game is so sickening, bro. I'm throwing this. I'm throwing this. Oh, my God. Big Tyson on his head. Come on. We just need to stop. We need to stop. Come on. Okay, you call a timeout. That's fair, man. Big Tyson with the three ball and then the big dunk right there. That's crazy. Here we go, man. 2.7 seconds. I don't know why he kind of inbounded the ball down here. Come on. Terrible. Yo! <laughs> this game is so bad. This game is so bad, bro. This game is so bad, man. I can't do this.
I literally can't play this game, bro. There's no way that a game is made and created that is this bad, bro. He drove into two people and got a bailed. I can't believe this, bro. This game is literally so trash, bro. And of course, Tyson Chandler's inbounding the ball. The one guy that I was going to score with. Come on. Yeah, there's nothing we could do right there, bro. I don't even care. I don't care that I lost. I'm still uploading this video because I played amazing in that game. And the fact that this guy just, he won that game is pretty sad because a lot of things went his way that shouldn't have went his way. And he honestly should not have won that game. So in my mind, I won that game. I don't care what anyone says. I'm posting this video, man. But right here, Jalen Suggs, Julian Stroffer. We played great, man. We played great unselfish basketball. Uh, we just couldn't we he literally was just mashing us and he got a lot of bailed out things like that bucket That was not a foul that should not have been a foul uh, That was a really good game. I don't really care that I lost man. I got to show you guys everything I needed you to To know man. Yeah, it's just unfortunate that I ended up losing that I guarantee you most people will probably think well How is he gonna show us how to win every game if he's not winning this game? But I promise you guys, like, I'm running this budget squad right here. Most of you guys are going to have better teams than this. I played a guy with a really good team, and he got extremely lucky, and I still almost won that game. I took it to double, or I took it to overtime. Not much more you could ask for, man. Um, but, yeah, man, basically, just make sure you guys just keep doing those things, man, running those settings, running that offense, and you guys will have success in Unlimited. I promise you that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Let me know you guys' thoughts. Are you guys going to be playing unlimited competitively? Like, stuff like that. Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I should have won that game.